Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Wild Hearts. Whenever you hit the play button, you get the error of your game failed to start. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. Open up your Steam app. In Steam app, click on this help option and choose the option Steam support. From here, click on the game that you have installed. At your end, it must be Wild Hearts. Click on the game. Scroll down and click on the option, I want to permanently remove this game from my account. Again scroll down and just go ahead and click on the option, ok remove the listed game from my account permanently. Now once the game is removed, close the steam and open your EA app. Click on this three line icon and choose the option help. Here click on the option app recovery. Now click on the option clear cache. Once the cache are cleared. Your EA app will launch again automatically after close. Now once EA game is launched, close it. Right click on start menu and choose the option task manager. From here, find the EA app processes available over here by pressing the E button. Here is the EA background service. Right click and choose the option end task. Again press the E key to make sure there is not any program related to EA Sports that is running in the task manager. If you find again any process, simply right click and choose the option end task. This will make sure that EA application is not running in this system. Once it is closed, go ahead and launch your Steam again. Now click on the option help and again choose Steam support. Again click on your game that you have just removed, scroll down and click on the option, it's not in my library. Now scroll down and go ahead and click on the option install and this will completely install Wild Hearts in your Steam and your Wild Hearts game will be available right in the library of your Steam. Now go ahead and play from it to fix out the issue of your game failed to launch with Wild Hearts. Now if this failed to work out, let's proceed with the second step. Click on the start menu and type add or remove program. Open it. Here in the search app, click on the option EA and uninstall EA app completely from your system. Now once the application is uninstalled, close it, open up your browser and I share you a website to download origin client. Go ahead and download it right from here. Save it in your system. The size is of around 2 to 8 MB. Now once origin is downloaded, go ahead and install it into your system. Accept the terms and conditions and hit the continue button to install the origin. Now once origin is installed, here is the trick. Go ahead and sign in onto this origin account using your EA user ID and password. Once you signed in, go ahead, minimize the origin, open up your Steam, click on the Wild Hearts game, and go ahead and choose the option play. Once you click on the play option, you will get a prompt to install EA app. Go ahead and make sure you cancel the install. Yes, cancel the EA app installation prompt. Once you cancel it, your Wild Hearts game started to launch without any kind of error. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix the issue of Wild Hearts, your game failed to launch. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.